Hello guys, today's session is on something called as abstract class. See again when we talk about class and objects, it's something like if you have some idea in your mind, it is called as class. If you have some reality objects, it is called as object. It's something like if you want to create an object, you require class to define, you know, what object should do, which should define in class. Now, here, when you, let's suppose you have uh, imagination, you know, something, you want to create a mobile which will be having a front facing camera, a back facing camera, and a flash on both sides. Now, when you talk about today's phone, it has backlight on one side, on back side. You want a flash flash to be on front side also. This is your own concept. That means you have a class here which, have, which defines that in this object you should have a front camera, you should have a back camera, you should have front light and back light. But the problem is when you want to invent a front light on your mobile phone, it's your new concept. The only thing is you don't know how it will work. That means it is a method which is you don't know what, what a method actually does. That means you only know there should be a backlight or a front light. What it does, you don't know. That means this method you cannot define. And the method you cannot define, you have to declare it. And the methods which is only declared are called as abstract method. It's something like, again, the same class, let's suppose we are creating a mobile phone. So a class like mobile. Now here, if you define some methods like public void for camera. So you have to define it. If you want a backlight, you require public void, you have backlight. Now you know what backlight does. That means when you define backlight, it's something like when you, uh, when you want to uh, take some photos, the backlight get on or something called as flashlights. When you want to uh, use as a torch, you can use your backlight as torch. You don't know what your front camera will do. So you have public void your uh, its front light. Now here, you don't know what front light does. You only know there should be something called as front light. That means here you don't know what will define. That means you have to declare it. That means a method which is declared, you cannot define it, is called as abstract. So the method which is only declared and not defined, it is called as abstract method. Now a class which has at least one abstract method is called as abstract class. So in short, a method which is only declared is called as abstract method. A class which has at least one abstract method is called as abstract class. Now the features. You cannot create object of abstract class. It's so simple. You want to create a mobile phone like an object. You have a concept which should be which having a front light. Now the problem is you are making a mobile phone. You know there should be a front light. What it does? You don't know. That means there's no you know there's no logic developing a mobile phone. You are having a front camera or a front light, but no use. That means if you want a mobile phone, that means you have to you have to define the way the front light will work. That means if you want to create object, you cannot create object of this class because this class is abstract class. Now in case if you have to use this method, that means you have to create a new class called as it's my new mobile phone. It's new mobile. And you have to extend your abstract class. And your abstract class is mobile. Now, whenever you define an abstract class, or if you extend a new class with an abstract class, you have to define each and every method which is abstract in the base class or abstract class. When you define all these methods, now this class will be called as concrete class. And this class is called as abstract class. Now in any case, if you fail to define this method, this front, front light method in this class, this class also become abstract class. So that means, you know, it's something in this way. 
you have a mobile phone or a mobile class which is abstract. So this slide, these lines are abstract. You are creating a new class called as new mobile. Now in this mobile class you have an one abstract method called as trend light. If you extend this abstract class in this class, that means you have to define the front light in this method or in this class. Now if you fail to define that method in this class, this class also becomes abstract. That means you have to define a new class called as it will be new, new mobile class. In this, if you have to declare or you have to define the method which is declared here, that means the abstract method in this class carries to this class and the abstract method which is in this class we have to define in this class. And if you are successful in defining the method in this class, now this class will be called as concrete. That means your aim is to develop an object and you can only make objects of concrete class. You cannot make object of abstract class. So your focus should be on concrete class. And this is your abstract class. That's it.